What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I got another snippet for you guys. This snippet right here is another snippet from my interview with Spectacular Smith, Spectacular from Pretty Ricky, Spectacular from AdWizar, which is one of the best social media agencies when it comes to monetizing from social media. If you aren't familiar with Pretty Ricky, check them out. But this snippet, I want you to hear how Spectacular speaks on leadership as an artist, because after that, I'm gonna talk about some specific things that I've noticed and learned from working with artists when it comes to leadership. It's the network. My last question is leadership. And this book specifically because one, that's something that I'm constantly working on myself, especially with my businesses and having to uh, really get to the point where I'm taking on more and more people as opposed to like putting everything on my back. And specifically, I'm asking you because I remember hearing you say something about leadership. I don't know. I can't remember where it was. Part of my podcast. Probably. Um, so I just want to hear you talk a little bit about those experiences and how you approach leadership because it was crazy to me just the fact you basically was like you were transparent where you're like eh, I ain't really know how to lead oh you talking about my ink interview okay oh, that's, that's what, what that was about. okay yeah yeah so yeah that right there I just want to see that mentality how you made that switch and how you approach it now yeah so for me when I started my company I knew nothing about a company like I said I didn't get educated on none of this stuff and this is why I'm a firm, firm believer in like self-education because everything I'm doing right now, I just literally learn from books, programs, mentors, and mastermind groups. Every single thing. Podcast books. Like that's everything I learned from. So, and I have a multi-million dollar company within like a year. So I knew nothing about that. So I had to study leadership. I had to read you know, how to, how to win friends, influence people. I, I had to read what, what got you here, won't get you there. And um, Goldsmith books. So it's like leaders, good leaders in, in their books and figuring out how to lead and think and grow rich book. So different things that, that develop a mindset and then realizing how to understand people, emotional intelligence. And I didn't know any of these things. So I was the person that come, came in and, and like in that interview, I was like having a conversation with my team and they did something I didn't like. And in the, in the meeting, one of my employees was like, Hey, well, I thought, you know, it was, it was, we was a team. Like I thought that this was like everybody company. And I was like, no, this is my company. This ain't nobody company, but mine. I said, Oh my God. I looked, I, I, thought back to what I said I was like what was I thinking once I start reading these leadership books and and taking these leadership programs and things like that I was like wow I fucked up <laughs> right I'm like and if you want to edit that part I messed up right? and, and basically and basically I realized that in order for you to lead a team correctly they have to feel a sense of ownership so if they don't feel like they're a part of it and you're not giving them credit, I used to take all the credit. I used to post stuff and like, yeah, I'm killing it. And know my team. I knew my team did it. I know I didn't do it, but I come in and like, cause I'm the face. So I'm just like taking, like, I'm just showing the work. Like, I'm like, yo, we up here killing it. Like I'm out here. Kill and I'm not even like giving no credit or anything like that. So then yeah. I realized that people want their credit. People want their praise. And people want self uh, sense of ownership. So once I realized that, I started praising my team for things they did. I don't care how small it is. If it's a win, it's a win. And I'm celebrating. I have the whole company celebrated together. We in a clapping, cheering, high five, and every single accomplishment just to get everybody morale up and and keep that up, right? And giving them credit for things they do. If they got a page that they grew to a million followers, hey, if it was if it was Josh, it's Josh. If it was Autumn, it's Autumn. If it's Martha, it's Martha. Like whoever, whoever it is, give them their praise. That's who did it. That's who part of my team, tagging them. This is the person. Like, because that's what it's about. It ain't about me. Because at the end of the day, I'm just the CEO. They have to run the ship. You know, they all I could do is steer the ship, but they have to paddle and, you know, get the ship the way it got to go. So if they down and not inspired then there's only so much i can do from the top they got to put the work in so you have to give them their credit 
And they have to understand that this is our vision. This is our vision together, right? I'm just the CEO. But at the end of the day, you know, the vision that we're coming up with together, right? This is our vision. This is what we believe in. This is our uh, values. This is our mission. This is when we go left, we go left together. When we go right, we go right together. Everybody lead together. It's the network. All right, first and foremost, I think it's dope that Spectacular was so transparent about his experience with leadership and just to be able to have that level of self-awareness to realize, yo, I'm approaching this thing completely wrong. If you want to see the rest of that interview, he talks about leadership, how to hack social media and just how he flipped like $60,000 into like millions of dollars in a short period of time, that full interview is at brandmannetwork.com. But something that I've noticed when it comes to artists and leadership is I think there's this transition that a lot of artists face because when you're an artist, it's, everything is about you and from the in front of the scenes point of view it's kind of like yo like i'm a superhero that's how you kind of want the consumers to look at you we don't really talk about the behind the scenes from that standpoint but you being the artist you have to operate on both sides especially as an independent artist as you start to build your career because you're going to be a lot more of a ceo slash artist than the traditional artist in the past that has this label and everybody's just handling everything else for them so what that means is you are a leader right you are a leader in your team, for your team, in your career. So you have to be able to set out that vision and having that ability to empower your team and show them that you really appreciate them and actually show them that they get credit for what they do is gonna be extremely useful because it's going to help them work harder with you towards that vision as opposed to just feeling like they're working for you when there are so many people so many scenarios where i've heard about in the industry where they're like ah yeah this person that person's a narcissist maybe if they do work for them they only look at it as a flip like yo let me work for this person so i can tell people that i work for this person and go get some other position but i don't really want to stay on this ship because the way this ship gets ran by that particular artist and or individual so leadership is so important and me and spectacular had a conversation after this interview and a book that he recommended when it came to leadership was 22 immutable laws of leadership check that book out it's once again 22 immutable laws of leadership i'll make sure i put that in the description or something like that maybe so you can see how that gets spelt if you aren't familiar other than that once again you can check out the full interview on brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself if you like this video go ahead and like button if you like it, you might as well share it if you're not subscribe you know what to do hit that subscribe button